Hi guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. So today I am going to do a Q&A for the vlog today. So I thought I would just sit here in front of the camera, actually sit down in front of the camera and just do a little video for you guys. So I asked um, everyone on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter to ask me questions. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through them. And let's start with Instagram. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Um, okay, my favorite Christmas movie is anything on Hallmark Channel. I think all their movies are so like cheesy but so Christmassy and I love all of them. Like they're my favorite movies ever. So I'd say anything on Hallmark is definitely my favorite or Home Alone. I really like Home Alone too. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve uh, is when I'm talking to someone and they're like on their phone or they're just not listening to me because I am normally a quiet person. Like I don't, I'm not like the first person to say something and I don't normally talk a lot. But when I do talk, I want people to listen because it doesn't happen often. And so when people just kind of ignore me, it really pisses me off. How did you get into makeup? Um, really, for the longest time, I've liked makeup. I mean, before I even came out or before I accepted who I was, I would sneak into my mom's room and like try on some of her makeup and that kind of stuff. And what got me into makeup was, I don't really know. Like I started with small items, like just concealer to cover up a blemish. And then I moved into brows, so it, I kind of, I guess, I got myself into makeup, I think. Ultimately, I started makeup because of myself and just wanting to. Also, what's your favorite Christmas food or drink? Okay, so my favorite Christmas food and drink is anything that has peppermint in it. I wait all year round for peppermint, anything and everything. I'll have peppermint cocoa, peppermint chai, peppermint mocha, peppermint latte. Like, if there's peppermint syrup that I can put in a drink, I will do it. I don't care what it is, I'm going to put peppermint in it. So that's my favorite drink is anything with peppermint. And then food, anything with peppermint on it, so like peppermint bark, peppermint chocolate, peppermint cookies, like literally anything with peppermint, I'm there. I'm eating it. What is your favorite family tradition for Christmas? My favorite tradition, really the biggest one, is every single year my mom and my sister and I, we all decorate the house for Christmas. And every year it's just like a big thing to me. And every year... I make sure it happens because it's important to me and I really enjoy just being with my family and getting to decorate for Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. So it just brings like all the fun into the house. And yeah, it's my favorite tradition. What's your favorite vine? My favorite vine is definitely Miss Keisha or the vine of Kermit jumping off a building because those two are great. Favorite Christmas drink, song, and memory. So my favorite Christmas drink, anything peppermint. So my favorite Christmas song is the Pentatonix White Winter Hymnal. That song, I just, I don't know. I think the vocals in that song are so good and that, I don't know if it's really a Christmas song. It's more like just winter song or just a normal song, but it's definitely my favorite and I play it all year round. And my favorite Christmas memory is just every year on Christmas opening presents like even if it's just like a few presents like if it's no presents at all like I don't care just that like excitement of being around family and waking up early to open presents and just enjoy each other's company that's like the best thing I could ever ask for when applying makeup which part is your favorite I think my favorite part is like highlight bronzer and blush like the powder products because I mean some days I can do like a light bronzer and a light contour. I can do a harsh contour, a harsh bronzer. So I feel like that's just like the most fun. And then highlight, of course, it's always fun. What film resonates with you the most? There are so many films that I've seen that have like brought so much strong emotion to like my life and have, I've related to and that I've really enjoyed. And most of them are indie films. The one film that really resonated with me, I had to find it because I forgot the name. It's called Center of My World. Um, I got 100% Rotten Tomatoes, so it really is a good film. And I saw it in Portland, and it just, like, encompassed my teenage years for me and showed, like, how hard it is falling in love at a young age and trying to find who you are and accept who you are and trying to get over love when it breaks your heart. And I feel like that film, when I saw it, I just felt like it was almost a retelling of my own life. And it was also set in Europe, and I have such a strong connection to Europe. So I think that film is one of many films that resonates with me. Uh, what song defined your teenage years? So I'm going to play a bit of it, because why not? But it is a song from Lord, 
Um, she's my favorite artist of all time. And it is the Pure Heroin album itself um, defines my whole teenage years. That, um, Arctic Monkeys, Two Door Cinema Club, Miley Cyrus Bangers, like all these albums specifically, like when I hear them, I'm like, oh, this is when I was like 15 or 16 or even 14. Like this is what I play when I'm like reminiscing in old times and that kind of stuff. But this song specifically is like the song that when I hear it, it's like, it's my song. So here it goes, part of it. Like this like eerie sound that plays at the beginning just kind of reminds me of like driving around and just sitting in silence but driving together and just like having fun and feeling adventurous. I'm gonna skip to. That part specifically just reminds me of the times where we would get to be out late as a younger kid and we would just drive around at like midnight and it was it was just so fun, you know, and growing up it was really fun to just do things that were abnormal, but now I can be out at like midnight and it's nothing special anymore. But this song would be playing in the background and it just stuck with me and four years later I'm still like this is my song. <laughs> This part two really just gets me good. And that part of the song, um, it makes me really emotional because when I hear it, I think of my friendship with Elle and uh, I hate, I don't want to get emotional. Um, my friendship with Dell is the most important thing that's ever happened to me. Um, she's been there through everything in my life, and she's my only support sometimes. And that lyric, um, you're the only friend I need, is how I feel. Um, when things go wrong, when people leave, um, I still tell myself that she's the only person I need. And, I mean, obviously, I love all of my friends, and I would never trade them for the world. But Del has been there the longest, and she's been there through everything I've gone through. And sharing beds like little kids just reminds me of all the times that we've had sleepovers and just laid in bed and laughed until our ribs got tired. And this song just encompasses everything I went through as a child and as a teenager and everything I'm still going through, and so it, it, it just sits with me. And I think that this song, something from the song, whether it's a title, whether it's a lyric, is going to be my first tattoo because I've never had a song in my life be so important to me and for so long. So yeah, that's, that's the answer to that question. If you could live life as one other person for a day, who would it be? Well, that's a good question. I don't know that I would want to live life as someone else. Like, I feel like it'd be fun to be like a celebrity just to know what it's like, but I mean, they're just normal people just with more photographers following them around. So I feel like that wouldn't really be fun. I would rather be like, get to do anything for a day and then do something fun with that. But yeah, I don't know that I would want to be another person for a day. What's it like to be gay in Kaiser? Not gonna lie, it sucks. It really does. We aren't a big city, but we're not a small city either. And we're kind of like right in between. Our population's like 36,000. And in high school, it was really hard because I was like one of two or three people that was actually out. And so people don't realize like how hard it is for our community to find other people especially in such a small town like this, like, I really, I don't have options for, like, dating or finding someone to be friends with or anything, really, because our community is so small. And growing up into this city and this community, it's hard because Kaiser is kind of a conservative city, and so wearing a full face of makeup or just being out and proud sometimes feels impossible because there's so many people here that just don't have love in their hearts. They can't find love to accept other people that are different. And so it's been hard for me to, you know, open myself up to other people because if I want to find someone to date, I have to go outside of the city. And it's harder because that's long distance. And it's just, it's just really hard 
to grow up in a smaller city and be gay because not as much support and there's not as much acceptance as there is in a big city like Portland or Los Angeles or New York. In a smaller city, everyone's in each other's business. Whereas in New York, you can walk down the street and nobody knows who you are and nobody cares who you are because it's such a big city. But in a smaller city, everybody knows who you are or a lot of people know who you are and it's just harder to be yourself in some place like this. Okay, favorite bug. Um, my favorite bug would have to be those little roly-poly bugs. I think they're just so cute. I, I just love them. They're adorable. Okay, so now we're going to go to Twitter and I gotta hurry because I'm going to see Star Wars today, which is exciting. So let's see here. What's your favorite soup? My favorite soup is probably clam chowder. Clam chowder or is it cream of potato? Either of those two. The one, it's like clam chowder without the clams. It's basically the same thing, but just potatoes. I like both. Those are both my favorite. What's your favorite part of Christmas? Gift giving. 110%. I love giving gifts. I love seeing the smiles on people's faces when they get a gift. And I think it's just, it's the best part of the season is giving back to people that you love. What's your favorite song at the moment? Um, actually, okay. So I didn't listen to Taylor Swift's new album, like, at all, because it wasn't on Spotify, and I thought that was stupid. But then it came out, and I've been listening to it, and I actually like basically all of it. So... Favorite song at the moment would be all of Taylor Swift's new album. I hate saying that because it's like, I don't know, that's just not always my music taste. Like, I don't love pop, but like, she did good on this album and I was shook. What's your favorite YouTuber and why? I mean, I have a couple, like, in each genre. So just like lifestyle YouTuber Zoella, I think her life is just so intriguing. For beauty, Shannon is my favorite, ShannXO. She's from New Zealand and I just think that everything about her channel is just fun because she is funny and she, she's just herself and I really, I really like that. And then for like vlogging, I think Casey Neistat is incredible. I think I started watching his vlogs like a year and a half ago. I think I started towards the end of his first year of vlogging. And I just think what he does is incredible and how he does it is so incredible too. Okay, so last one would be Snapchat. Why are you so annoying? <laughs> um, I don't know. What's it like to be so pretty? I wouldn't know. Are you ever going to travel outside the States? I have traveled outside the States before. I've gone to Germany um, on a school trip and that, that trip changed my entire life. Like from that trip, I, I feel like I gained so much independence within myself and I knew how to live life by myself because I was essentially living on my own in a foreign country for a month. So I feel like I gained so much like knowledge about the world and I feel like I was so much smarter when I came back as far as life goes. So I definitely want to go back to Germany soon. I'm just looking for someone to go with me. So if you want to come, hit me up. But yeah, I definitely 150% will be traveling outside the US because I feel like it's what I have to do. Like, I feel like I would be empty without traveling outside of the US. Do you like vlogging? I kind of do. I wish, I just wish I had a more exciting life. Like, I, I do like vlogging, I think it's fun. And if I had a vlog camera, I would do it probably like three times a week for my channel. But my life is so boring. Like, all I do is I wake up, go to work, and then I go to Dell's. And I mean, I guess if people like to see that, then great. Maybe I'll continue vlogging after Christmas, but yeah, I don't think it's something I'm going to do all the time just because I don't do anything fun with my life. All right, guys, so that is the end of this Q&A. If you like this video, let me know down below. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. Hit that bell so you get notified every time I post because I am posting every single day until Christmas. So stay tuned for more vlogs. There will be one tomorrow, and yeah, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.